Hello everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> and uh, welcome to another lesson. Yeah, uh, yeah. We've got, we've got a good one for you yeah. today. The sun is shining. It is a beautiful day outside. It's and, a beautiful um, sunny, sunny day. And you know what guys? It's a wonderful world. It sure is. So this is a, a funny enough one of what's probably known as a standard really and um, it bridges that sort of um, jazz and going into really sweet sort of 1960s type of pop song. Yeah, yeah those old standards from America. So, yeah, and amazing what we found out about this song. Yeah, we just had a quick, uh, quick skim through the wonderful world entry on Wikipedia and uh, all kinds of interesting information about it. Um, yeah, the funny thing the, was uh, it did nothing in America the first time it was mm. released. Tony Bennett was offered this song and the silly putla Anka turned it down. Probably one of the best songs ever written about uh, what a wonderful world it was and Louis Armstrong took yeah, hold of it. Yeah, it wasn't a big hit at the time. It was a terrible think. hit down there. Um, yeah. But guess what? Rule Britannia! We got hold of that song and we made it number one. And uh, so it panned out in America but it really did well here. And uh, it was about, this is really about the sort of post-racial type of um, apartheid going on really in the States and uh, and it was Louis got hold of it and just said you know I'm not gonna have all this segregation or nuts anymore and you know whatever you do to me whatever you don't do to me it's still a wonderful world out there and isn't that a wonderful message it sure is yeah and you know where it featured in one of my favorite films Good morning Vietnam! Uh, yes. And that really started that song and gave it back to the to us people again. Sort of revived it and it yeah. became, a, became a big hit. And then it reached that. number 33 in the States yeah. after that. Yeah. So it just shows you. Thank you Mr. Williams. Thank you Indeed. Robin. Yeah, anyway. Indeed. Should we stop digressing and start let's, getting into it? Let's, yeah. let's have a bit of a play shall we? And, yeah. Uh, oh, one, two, three, four. start by taking you through the basic chords to the song and then I'm going to talk about the ways that you could approach it rhythmically and the kind of right hand patterns you could use. So there are two sections of the song, we've got a verse and a bridge section. Let me take you through the verse. I'm going to play it using all simple first position chords, I think there's one bar chord in it. I'm going to assume you already know these chords, so I'm not going to explain the individual fingerings for all of these, they're, they're all fairly simple. We're going to start with C, We've got a bar of C, and a bar of E minor, a bar of F, bar of E minor, and we've got D minor for a bar, C for a bar, E7 for a bar, A minor, 2, 3, 4, and we've got a really nice change, it's going up to a G sharp, 
uh, major chord. I'm playing this as a bar chord, a major bar chord of the fourth fret. So I've got a bar on that. Then we've got D minor for two beats on D minor. One, two, two beats on G. And then we're back home to C. And then a bar of G7. And that's the end of the verse. You then can then go round for, for another verse. Um, the bridge section to the song, we start on G, we've got a bar of G. This is the uh, colours of the rainbow. Colours of the rainbow. G7 for a bar to C. Da -da. Two bars of C. Da -da -da. Then we do that again. We've got G bar, G7, C for two bars, then we got C friends shaking hands, that's A minor, two, three, four to G, and saying how do you do A minor again for four beats to G. A minor one more time, then A7, then D minor, U to G, and that's the end of the bridge. Then we can go around for, for another verse again. So that's the basic structure of the song, the basic chords. Now I want to talk about the ways that you can approach it rhythmically, so what we're going to be doing with, with our picking hand. And the first thing you could try is playing it like this with a bit of a finger style but with a percussive click on beats two and four. That would sound like this. doing there is I'm playing, if I hold down a C chord, I'm, I'm playing my thumb, first finger, middle finger and third finger together and then I'm just tapping on the strings with, with uh, my, my right hand to get a nice percussive click on beat two. So it's one, two and then two more plucked chords with my right hand and then another click, so it's one, four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and we're taking that round the chord progressions in the song. You might have to adjust your right hand slightly to fit whatever chord you happen to be on. So on an E minor chord, I would be playing the low E with my thumb, and then I've got my first finger on the D string, second uh, finger on the G string, third finger on the, the B string. Same thing on F. On D minor, I'm moving my right hand down to the, the highest four strings. And that way you can just take, uh, take that uh, right hand pattern through the, the whole song. Um, once you've got that basic idea you can always just uh, throw in embellishments where it feels good. I, I find myself just bouncing my thumb and playing some, some off beats with my thumb occasionally as well. One and two. Something like that. So that's our first right hand approach. You could always play it in more of a strummy fashion uh, as well. And this is the, the way that Robert was playing it at the top of the lesson and that would sound like this. So I'm moving my right hand up and down in the rhythm of the song. And again I'm just getting that nice percussive click on beats two and four and I'm achieving that by at the same time as I'm hitting 
the strings with my fingers I'm also just muting them with the side of my right hand get that kind of percussive sound I think that's that's another really effective way to play this song The last way you can try doing it is what I was doing at the top of the lesson. Robert was playing a strummy percussive style and I was trying to complement that by arpeggiating the chords, that is playing the notes in the chords separately, like this. C chord, I'd be playing the root note with the thumb and then going up through the other notes in the chord with my index finger, second and third finger and then back to my middle finger and my index finger. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And then you can just adapt that pattern other chords in the song, remembering that your thumb always needs to be playing the lowest note, the root note in each chord. So uh, yeah, have a play around with those three different ideas, the three three approaches you can take to the song. Try try and play play through the tune using all three of those approaches. So, uh, so there we have it. Yeah, um, two things really from this I was thinking about. First things is um, I know that. Um, we as guitarists like to play on our own in our rooms, twiddling away for hours do, on end. Yeah. <laughs> but this is an invitation for you to find a friend, really. Find a friend and um, work out an arrangement together. So much fun. I mean, I, uh, when I play with Adrian, uh, it means that we both have to keep in time and we start up a conversation with the guitars. It's a really lovely, beautiful thing to do. Don't be scared about it. You're going to make loads of mistakes. You can see on the video that we don't edit out our mistakes. You know, that, that's all part of it. And not to worry about it. The most important thing is don't let anyone know their mistakes. You know, smile extra big when you do that <laughs> as if you really mean <laughs> and it. And with any yeah. luck, people won't notice. Yeah. So, so. And the other thing is that this is a lovely, lovely song. I mean, I've used it on a few times. Uh, I played it uh, for my mum's 70th birthday with someone else and you know finished with that song and you can make lovely sort of romantic gestures with the song and um, so enjoy yeah enjoy enjoy yeah, it's a beautiful song there's a lot you can get out of it as a, as a guitar player yeah. as you say it's good to play it with somebody else and if, you, yeah. if you've never done that before it's, uh, yeah. it's a really good good way of learning so what we've got to say for now is Oh yeah. yeah! And if you want <laughs> him to get the tabs up on the uh, up there, just, just just send me a message yeah. and I'll uh, can, yeah. uh, email it to you. And we'd like to thank you for. We noticed that this series, more and more people are looking at it. You know, we we start with small acorns and we've had a hundred and so people, and it's going up really quickly now. So, thanks very much and. Uh, yeah, we're going to give you some more next time. We sure will. See you yeah. next time. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>